In late 2014, Zoreen Ali Outar faced a life-changing diagnosis. Her journey through breast cancer is a story of strength, hope, and resilience. Today, she shares her story with us. Zorin, good morning. Thank you so much for having us here, right here in your lovely living room. How are you doing today? Good morning to you. And I am being privileged to have you in my home and, and to be on your program. Thank you so much for accommodating me. Zorin, I want you to take me back to the moment, the day, the time when you realized something is wrong and it was time to go to the doctor. What happened? I felt a lump on the right side of the breast and it was there like for two months and it getting larger. The lump was paining so I decided to go to the doctor. And when you went to the doctor, what happened? What did they tell you? When I went to the doctor, they did a mammogram and they sent me to do a biopsy. The biopsy came back and it was cancerous. I consult my family and my daughter was with me at the set time when I spoke with, when the doctor gave us the result. I came home and I consult the other family, my other relatives, and they decided for us to take a second opinion. I did the second opinions, but I went to French Guiana. And the result came back and they told me it's a triple negative. Uh, the triple negative is the, is the cancer that grow rapidly and spread very fast. All right, so what was your next move after hearing this? What did you do and how urgent did you do it? I came back home and I went to the doctor at Georgetown Public Hospital and they started my treatment immediately. Um, I had to do like six doses of the chemo and within the six doses, within there, I did like three first and then I do a mass mastectomy. All right, so why did you have to do the mastectomy? What stage was your cancer at and what were the other options? When I decided to do the mastectomy, it was stage four. Uh, there were no other option. I had to do that. What were some of the challenges that you faced during your treatment and how did you overcome them? Uh, during, um, during my treatment, I didn't have much of a challenge. I was a little bit worried, but because of uh, my loved ones, my family and my loved ones, they make me feel like it's just the moment for me. I had my doctors and my doctors were Dr. Goodins, Dr. Justo, and Dr. Navin Ramaran, who was my surgeon. Special thanks to all of them. You know, some people would be frustrated, depressed. They have to do a mastectomy, meaning you no longer have the breast. Um, what do you do in the interim? You know, people might, if, you're, if, if they see one breast gone, they ask you questions, but you do wear something. So tell us about how you've been navigating after the mastectomy. What do you wear and how does it change your image? After the process to me, I did wear the silicone breast and I never really think about any other thing because I said I have to go through this moment. So I just comfortable doing that. I adjust to that. What message would you like to share to women who they're 40 and over, but they've never decided to go get a screening done? What message do you have for them? I would like to urge all the women women and men, because we were thinking everyone can have cancer. So I urge everyone out there to go on a regular checkup, do their regular checkup, visit their doctor if they're not feeling well. Go and join maybe a survival group, and they're like your family, they would, they would make you feel comfort, they would tell you what has to do what you have to do and what you don't have to do. And there is a lot of women in that group who's going to comfort you. I mean, not all of us know what we have to do. When that time comes, we get frustrated. But they, they have women in that group, male and women in the group, who would encourage you. They would make you feel comfortable and you don't know that you have those things. I had joined the Giving Hope Foundation and I have got a lot of support from my doctor and the members of the group, and they make me feel comfort. How has this ordeal changed your perspective on life? 
I'm doing com um, voluntary work in the committee. I'm a counselor for my area, which is the Echoes of Amsburg, NDC. I'm also a member of the Providence Hindu Temple. I would like to encourage everyone to consult their doctor, get screening, early detection, save lives.